So I have a logo here that's a PNG image that I want to convert into an SVG and then upload to a website. So this is the original image here. You can notice that there's no background color, but basically I want to convert this to a vector-based SVG so we can scale infinitely and not lose quality. So for instance, if I were to actually take this and upload it to something like GIMP, and this is a very large image. You can notice that we're only at a 18.2% scale here. But if I were to take this and scale down the, the size of the image, so scale image to say 250 pixels wide, which is kind of what I'm shooting for for the logo here. <clears throat> and then if I were to bump this up to 100%, you notice that this is already kind of losing its quality. It looks a little pixelated and uh, it's, not, it's not really a great experience. So what I want to do is I actually want to open this up in Inkscape. So I'll just start Inkscape and then I'll edit, I'll open, and I'll go to my downloads and I'll grab that logo there and I'll just embed it. <clears throat> now we have this image here and it's hard to see because uh, it's actually on a white background now. So the first thing I want to do is I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to go to my document properties and um, I'm going to display the, the checkered background so now I can actually see kind of the image more clearly and then I can close out of this um, and that's great so now I can see at least the distinction between the letters and the transparent background and then the next thing I want to do is I just want to try to automatically convert these uh, pixels into vectors so if I go up to the path section in my admin toolbar and I go to trace bitmap settings <clears throat> excuse me and I choose colors so I want it to, to pick up on the colors and it's going to do a couple scans of it and I press OK you'll see over in this right hand side that a new object should pop up oh do you know what happened so this is important actually so nothing happened there because I actually didn't have the image selected so make sure you have your image actually selected like this and then come back over go to your path go to your trace bitmap uh, make sure you have your colors selected and then press OK and this time over on the right hand side you'll notice that a bunch of new objects popped up so you can close out of this window here uh, it's kinda hard to see now it just looks like a white square or a rectangle but you'll notice that there's all these different paths that are kind of popped up because we did eight scans of the image so the first thing I want to do is <clears throat> I'm going to hide the original image there and then I'm gonna go and expand the paths over here and I know for a fact that it's trying to get the background in one of its paths, so I'm just going to actually hide that background so now we can see the actual image that we want here. Um, another thing, if this is this layer here will be, or sorry, this object here will be the, the main uh, writing here. There was some uh, shading on the sides of the letters that got picked up as well, so if I hide this, you can see that uh, some of the outlines of the letters are there. We don't really want that layer, so I'm definitely gonna hide this layer as well. And <clears throat> each one of these other layers here that are kind of an individual shading of those uh, those letters. So if I hide those and then I enable my original uh, layer that I had hidden right here, this looks like kind of like the logo that we actually want to display. So I can do a little cleanup on some of this stuff. So I can actually go in here and I can delete these layers by doing a control X to, to cut them. And I'll just cut out all these layers that we don't want anymore. Great, so it looks pretty good. Now, the last thing I want to do is I actually want to scale this down to uh, an SVG size that's similar to what I want to upload to the actual site. So, if I come over here to my width and height, I'm going to lock this, and you notice as I hover over that, when locked, change both width and height proportionally, so we don't want to scale the width down and have the height um, the same because that would become a distorted image pretty fast. So, I'm going to lock those together, and then if I actually go and I just scale these down, I can press these arrows or I can actually speed this up a little bit and type in the value I want. I want 250. You notice that this jumps down to the appropriate size. And I can actually hold down control and use my scroll wheel on my uh, trackpad to kind of zoom in here a little more so it's a little easier to see what's going on here. Uh, and if I go over, there we are. So that's the image that we want here. So another trick we can actually do is we can go back up to our our document properties here and we can resize the page to the content. So if we open this uh, fold here and we come down and say resize page to drawing or selection, click that 
and you'll notice that the border actually jumped down to just our image here. So it's exactly what we want. And from here, we can actually go and I can just export this. So, or um, actually I want it as an SVG so I can even use this save as. You usually use export if you want to convert it to like a PNG or a PDF or something else. But I can just save this as and go to my downloads and leave it as the same name and save it to the downloads there. Now, one thing that I'm going to want to do though is I'm actually, if I were to look at this image, there's going to be some inline styles probably applied to this. So <clears throat> one thing I want to do is actually want to go and I want to delete those inline styles. I can do that manually via text editor. I just open up a new tab and then I were to vim edit my downloads and then I have this and with the SVG file, if I look in here and I try to find the path, you notice I have these styles, these inline styles here. So we don't really want these. So I can actually simply come here and I can just delete this whole style section here. So I'm just going to highlight it with a visual block, a visual line, and then I'm going to press X to delete that. And now we actually, yeah, now we have our style removed from this and I can come in here, I can save this and we should be good there. So just take a look at what this might look like when it's uploaded. Let's um, let's actually come in here and let's go to our browser over here and let's just log into the website here. So this is our dev site where we're, we're setting this file. And if I come in and I actually, I edit this file, I can note that this is the original path of the original image that's being used. I could just paste that in. You can see that here. If I come over here, I can actually come in, I can remove this, and then if I add a new image, and I upload a new file, if I go to my downloads, I can grab this new SVG file, and then upload that here, I can use that, and then if I update this, it should automatically propagate through. So. I go back here and I go to capebigs.org. Should redirect us to the correct page here. Um, this is this is the live site, so this is what it used to look like. As you scroll down, you would notice that the logo would change colors. Let's go to our dev site and see what we have there. Okay, so we have it starting with a white uh, logo, and as we scroll down, our CSS updates it and we have the variation on the logo. Had we left those inline styles in there, they would override the CSS and they wouldn't actually show up. So this is working and uh, I think that's all there is to it. All right, thanks for watching.